Hi, sweet friends. Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a get it all done with me style video. Now, first I want to share with you what I got for my birthday. Mainly these items are for the kitchen. So I thought we could do a little bit of cleaning up and decorate with those items. I also want to share with you a project that I've been doing for our office and it's turning out to be a pottery barn dupe. I also have a little table that I need to put together so we can do that. And finally, I want to share with you just a really simple potato soup recipe. If you're excited to just spend the day with me, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Also, if you're new here, hi, my name is Amy and welcome. I'm super glad that you stopped by and I hope that maybe you would consider subscribing if you enjoy today's video. I love to do lots of decorating here on my channel. So if that's something that you love, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to share my ideas with you. Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and I'll share with you what I got for my birthday. All right, first up are these wooden utensils. And what was funny is that my hubby Scott went through my Amazon cart and just started clicking and buying things that were saved in my cart. And so they come with eight different utensils and I love displaying these in like a crock or even a pitcher beside your oven. And I just think that just warms up your space and they look a little bit better than maybe like your plastic ones. So I was super excited that he picked these out for me. Next is this copper canister set. I had had this in my Amazon cart for quite some time. And so it comes with a set of four and it does have the little seal on it. And I love the little gold detail at the top. Now I'm not sure if I'll be using these today since I am trying to incorporate some whites, but I will definitely be pulling these out come fall and even winter. And you never know, I might be um, using these later on today, depending on if I want to just display them, but they come as a set of four and they all nest inside each other, which is really nice for storage. So this is the, the medium. No, well, these two, this is the third size. And then here is the small, but I love these. I even think these would look great on open shelving maybe in a hutch or even on like the coffee bar area. So I was super excited to open these up on my birthday. And then look at this beauty. <laughs> I've been wanting a KitchenAid mixer for quite some time. I love how they look displayed on the countertops. And I know you can switch out the bowls, so I'm excited to have this. The one I had before was actually from Scott's grandmother and it just quit working. So we needed an upgrade. And so he gave me this for my birthday. I'm so thankful for this, but isn't it just a beauty? And so I'm gonna go ahead now and clean off our counters and then we can decorate a little bit with these items. I also almost forgot to mention that this long cardigan is also a birthday gift from my hubby. It is the green color and I love the length on it. I'll step back so you can kind of see. So like I mentioned before, all these items are from Amazon. So I'll go ahead and have them linked down in the description box so you can go and check them out for yourselves. So let's go ahead and clean off those countertops and then decorate with my new pieces.
here on my channel, my goal is to provide you with lots of decor inspiration, some motivation, as well as friendship and also encouragement through daily scripture. And so I like to include a daily Bible verse. And today's comes from 1 Peter 4 verses 8 through 10. And it really pertains to how we should act and how a true friend would appear. And so it reads, Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. Now, if we all could actually do this, just think how beautiful the world would be. So just rearranging that just a little bit, I think really refresh the kitchen. And I love the pops of brown and white and chrome, but I just think that the mixer really looks good with our stainless steel on our dishwasher as well as our toaster. I would love to be able to put that away, but that's just not gonna work for our family. We use it every day and we each have breakfasts at different times. So that is going to stay. So I think that this looks pretty good for now until I start to decorate here probably on Friday for Valentine's Day. So if you're looking forward to that, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments so that I know to go ahead and make that Valentine's Day decorate with me. Okay, so here is the cabinet that we'll be using here in the office. And I'll go ahead and share a little bit of the story of how it progressed into this. But at first I started with a very traditional looking cabinet. So of course I wanted to make it more modern. So I painted it first with the chiffon cream, which is what I have our dining room uh, hutch painted and I love that but I didn't want all of our furniture to look the same. So I wanted to do a color wash. And so with that, I used the Urban Bronze. So before, here's a picture of it with the cream chiffon. And I think it just looks like a classy young lady in my opinion. So I'm kind of comparing the cabinet to like a person. Then after I did the wash, to me, it looked very rustic and that was not what I was going for. So I decided to do some research, look on Pinterest, see what was um, popular in the stores. And so I went to Pottery Barn. And so I'll insert a picture here and I saw this piece and it reminded me of the piece that I have. So I thought, okay, it is black, but the Urban Bronze is very close. It's a dark shade. It's almost black. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and try that. So this is actually the first coat of the Urban Bronze. And to me, it looks like a sleek young man. So I think I'm really happy with this so far. And so I just wanted to share that with you that, you know, go ahead, try it. It is just paint. You can always paint over it. You can sand it down. Yes, it's a lot of work and time, but don't be afraid to just get in there, get your hands dirty, take some time and just create something that you're going to love. So with that being said, I just have to give this just one more coat and I think I'll do the front here and the top and then you have to check back later to see how it all turns out in my office reveal. So if you are looking forward to that one and haven't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you back. Also go ahead and hit that notification bell and scroll down and select all so that YouTube will share with you all of my videos and my upcoming office reveal will be coming shortly. So you definitely don't want to miss it. So let's go ahead and finish up that second coat of Urban Bronze, and then we'll go ahead and move on to assembling a little accent table that will be going in our office as well.
lost again going back around Dreaming of a time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of a million stars Shouldn't they mind my near and far Shouldn't they at all just tell me where you are Send a prayer So here is the instruction for the table. Looks pretty easy and I love the finish on this little table. This is the bottom and of course this is the top. And so we'll get it put together and you'll get a sneak peek of some of the furniture pieces that I'll be placing in our office. Halfway. Time to start on the potato soup recipe. So let's go ahead and we gotta chop up and peel potatoes and onions, get that started. And it's just a really nice comfort food during the winter. All right, for this soup, you're gonna get eight large Idaho potatoes and we're gonna peel those and dice them up. Of course, the smaller you dice them, the quicker it'll cook. One yellow onion, one stick of butter, two cups of milk, and I'm actually gonna use skim milk and it works just fine. Then to thicken it up, we'll use a fourth a cup of flour and then just salt and pepper. Now you can add carrots, you can also use bacon and cheese, but for this, I'm just gonna keep it super simple. It's one of my daughter Elena's favorite, as well as Caleb's. So I'm just gonna keep it super simple, wash these, and then get to peeling them. So I actually ended up using only six. And this is about the size that I like to use so that they get all cooked nice and evenly. So I guess my potatoes were a little on the extra large size. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this recipe. To 
night we're getting together with our small group from church and we like to have dinner, share fellowship, and then do a Bible study together. And so tonight's menu is soups and salads. And this is the soup that I'll be taking tonight for our get together. I'll also be transferring this a little later on into our Instapot so that we can keep it warm and easily transport it. So this pot is full to the brim, so I have to really keep an eye on it. And so I have it down pretty much on low. And what I like to do is, as soon as it starts boiling like this, I time it for 10 minutes and that'll give you the perfect like consistency for your potatoes, not too crispy and then not too smushy. And then over here, the flour and milk roux is just on like the lowest setting and I just keep whisking it every so often to keep it from setting up. And that will be poured on top of this once I put it into our Instapot just to keep it warm. You gotta sample your food, right? Mmm, <laughs> it is good. You have to let me know down in the comments if you make this for your family. Okay, friends, well, I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video here. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me today just in a get it all done type style. If you did, go ahead, let me know down in the comments. I'd be happy to share more of my daily life activities with you. I hope you all have a wonderful upcoming week and a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you very soon in my next one. Take care friends and God bless. Bye-bye.